all checked out of the hotel. Long night last night. Just waiting for my friend to get here. I'm gonna go grab something to eat. And I'll be heading off to the train station to catch my train to Bershoff. Well, it's all quiet here right now. That's gonna change. That's gonna change probably within the next hour, hour and a half. When I decided to come here, I didn't know at the time that a lot of the university students were on like any vacation, any holiday. So, uh, the train to Bershoff will be full, that's for sure. Hold on, my headset. <clears throat> I got wrecked last night. And I don't I don't drink that often. Maybe three times a year. New Year's, Fourth of July if I'm in the US. If I'm in the US during that time. But more vacation, like I'm on now. But I got trashed last night. And I'm meeting some friends in Bershoff, so we're just going to continue on. So I'm getting a little head start. Maybe take a little napper, a little cat napper on the train. I don't know. I don't know how much of a nap I'm actually going to be able to get. Students have discounted traveling expenses university students, so uh, the Romanian government gives them huge discounts on traveling by train or bus. And, I mean, my, my ticket at full price was about seven U.S. dollars, so their ticket's probably about maybe two dollars, even that. I'm going outside. It's, it's hot in here and it's nice outside. This neighborhood here, uh, the houses that are around the train station, <coughs> mostly older people. Um, but there is a gypsy community that's about maybe 10 minutes away walking. And they know, they know all the, the schedules, the arrivals, the departures, and they'll all start arriving. When, they'll all start arriving. Kids, older people, old women carrying baskets of flowers. They'll have these, they'll have these paper, little pieces of paper with like re religious verses on them. And they'll put them on the table in front of you and walk away and come back a few minutes later and ask you for money for them. And you just hand it back to them. But if you take the paper and throw it away, then they're expecting you to definitely pay for it then. Some are coming now, I think. This is it. I've never had any problems with them. I mean, I just say no, and they'll go through everything to tell you every problem they have uh, to get money from you. Even like, even using body language, if you don't, if you don't understand what they're saying, which they do have their own dialect that they use, if you don't understand what they're saying, um, they'll go through motions with their bodies using body language, but you say no, and they move on. Another one will come up and just say no. If you get nasty about it, where you're getting aggravated with them, they'll, they'll, they'll push your buttons to try to get you started. And if you have a problem with one of them, before you know it, there's 15 or 20. And uh, then you have a real problem because the police arrive, 
And if you get beat up, you go to the hospital. There's no ramifications for them. <coughs> There's an agreement between the politicians and the gypsy king of the different gypsy communities. So, laws don't apply to them. I mean, here, we're walking around in public. We have to wear masks. They don't have to wear any masks. You'll see them go in the stores without any masks. You'll see them in the malls without any masks. And the police won't do anything to them. Um, it's just, just the way it is here. But, again, if you just say no. They move on. The next one comes, you say no. They move on. But if you get aggravated with them and you, you get pushy with them, you have a big problem. It, it escalates very quickly. I've seen it. I've seen it happen. And there's, there's nothing you could do about it. The police are not going to do anything about it. Um, they want to. They want to. They know there are certain certain things that happen in the communities. Not all the gypsies are bad, but there are certain things that do happen. And the police department's hands are tied um, when it comes to the politics. But it's just the way it is. I'm going to go back inside and grab two more beers, come back out, and continue this afternoon delight. My buddy gave him some crackers. Poor puppy. little domestic dispute happening with some gypsies. Hear that woman crying. She's angry at her gypsy boyfriend. He was cheating on her. She's saying, leave me alone, leave me alone. But they'll be okay in a few minutes once they start working. Drunk camera, the drunk camera. Gotta catch the train. Gotta gotta catch the train. I'm halfway in the back now. I got a long night ahead of me.